it's going to take some time to build them. So this is how we do it. Okay, we'll go. You can figure it, and you run it, you make it, and in the meantime, what is the data that uh, we're going to be working with? Uh, it's just a snapshot of our bug breaker actually. So I'm going to uh, well, show how do you uh, implement searching into your into some well perfectly production third party application in like five minutes. So they they do have their search somewhere. So let me get here. Can anyone see it? I can. My view view main. Hmm. I definitely remember search from okay, there it is. View issues and then search. Yeah. Well yeah. So they, they do have some searching manual works even. Except when it doesn't. Okay, so do we have a keyword test here? Yeah, we do. So yeah, the search seems to work and it's pretty quick and it's built in. Sort of no need to use strings, right? Well, yeah, perhaps not at this scale because uh, uh, this is like 300 rows tackling something like 50 kilobytes, maybe 100 kilobytes. But what if the data grows over time? What's going to happen in that case? So, yeah. 1.5 megs of data, I believe. Something like that. Oh my. No, that's, that's more than all. I think I get myself an SQL dump. An inflated SQL dump, if you will. Somewhere. It will take some time to overkill, but. Okay. We, didn't, we do not have it. Yeah, this is the dreaded clone box script. Good enough. Well, I'll still wait for this slow virtual machine to finish content. I've had something break and while, but well, decided to use a new version. It was busy making the slides all night. Didn't have the time to break the virus. Okay, it's almost done anyway. Uh, so. But it's building I have a question. What do you think about deploying subversion version to production? Well I do it all the time, right? Okay. <laughs> we are notoriously slow about the releases. At the same time, the quality of intermediate code that gets into this lane is pretty good. So a number of our clients are happy to run different SVM builds, different SVM versions. So, even though we do not care to attach all oh, we think this is stable, except that it isn't tagged to, uh, to any given version in the, well, in the development tree, they are generally good enough. Well, of course, there's always a chance that your fallen version, I don't know, 1234, and in version 1232, we just made a change which somehow broke exactly that particular. Uh, strange feature that exactly your production instance is using. Well, always the case with the SVM builds. But then again, you do not really have the warranty against that, even when you grab the so called stable build. So, well, well, you know, I'm a developer, right? Uh, I know how the version uh, tags are produced. So. But if I have some sanity testing before deployment? We well, have automated testing, well, so we can test we it typically, we typically do some sanity testing before check-in. <laughs> yes, yes. So, I, so even that is not <laughs> needed for me. Yeah. Okay. No, not necessarily. <clears throat> anyway, I've just built it. I'm going to install it. Okay, let me have it. I've just installed it from Sphinx and curated bin. Well, normally it would be installed to slash usr slash block or something. Install the configuration files, create the uh, direct words for administrative and blah blah blah. blah. Now, uh, okay, so the built-in solution works pretty well, right? So it 
returns in no time and the test search uh, completes in uh, less than uh, 700 of a second. Now, what if we put a bit more data in It's going to take some time to get that. There we have it. Clone bugs. I wonder if I can monitor the status somehow. Uh, select count from main days bug data. 40. Um, okay. While well, I was. Well, uh, 80,000 now. Can we go higher? Okay, it's done. And it's 80,000 bugs now. So, uh, what this script is doing is pretty simple actually. It's just pulling all the bugs and uh, cloning and cloning and cloning them. So, there's now uh, either 100. 28 or maybe 280, 256 clones of every given bug in the system. And let's take a look. Let's review issues. Okay, this is a bit slower, right? And yeah, uh, and the filter is stuck, the test filter is stuck. So the query is now returning 15,000 meshes. And it's Taking a bit more time. One second sum. I believe if we reload the page, it can be better when the query cache is enabled on the SQL site. Except when it didn't. Or except when it had an intermediate value. So, well, not, not, not that good already, right? So it's, it's taking two seconds to run a rather simple search query against a rather simple. Uh, data collection actually. So what if we dump that table? Just just how big is it? I still dump minus user root, the database is test, the table is created up table uh, and uh, into something as scale. <coughs> okay, it's better left for it all. So basically we've got just 15 megabytes of data and my scale is isn't really super fast anymore. Well, happens all the time. Okay, good. Now that we have a use case, let's finally go and deploy things. If I mean, so. we have it installed, right? We need to write a well, uh, we need to no, I'll get that. We need to write a configuration file. Now, by the way. In interactive world, do you guys want me to uh, do it the hard way or the quick way? The hard way would be uh, going through the main test sources, looking at how they do the searches and uh, comments, honestly coming now that stuff, honestly, well, creating a configuration file from scratch. The quick way would be to just reuse something pre recorded. Your call. <laughs> Yeah. 
Bob, Bob Morales. Where is it? The shell should be. Mm, okay, perfect. I have totally no idea. <laughs> Where is function to draw get Bob Morales? Can I see that? No, not me. That's because I forgot dash. Here. So, okay. This is it. I can see. Core filter API PHP. And this is the implementation of the filter. And I want that part. Well, I've been hacking Mantis before, of course, except that it happened uh, a year ago. So it's pretty much. Okay, but but the editor position is still at the exactly the right uh, place. So this must be the function. This super function the filter yeah. So this, this is the super function filter get, get back rows. You see it and skim through it and skim through it and skim through it until you find the uh, keyword search. So the good thing that it is well sort of marked, so simple text search. What, what's it going to do? T filter search might be something it gets from the request and it's doing a lot of joins on the oh no it's not joins it's doing a lot of conditions on all the different full text fields. Okay good and it runs a select, does some from attaches some bug note table so some magic is happening. So okay basically uh, the first, the first impression is correct, it's, uh, it's joining three different tables. Okay, so this the Yeah, Okay, good. So uh, this is basically the bit of code that does text searching mainly. And it's joining a few tables and writing stupid like queries against uh, all those tables. It's, it's joining three tables actually T bug table, T bug text table, T bug no text table. And so there we have it. So we now know what tables we want indexed actually. We now even know what uh, fields we want indexed. And this is it. So. So, 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 so we go and uh, build ourselves uh, ourselves a configuration file based on that, which goes like this, actually. So this is what it's going to look like in a uh, way to uh, highlight the syntax. I'm not sure if it's going to work. No, it isn't. What should play? Anyway. Uh, Anyway, this is it. So we've just uh, looked into the source, looked uh, into the list of the table index and the uh, fields index. Well, collected the, that information. We want the very same tables and the very same fields index. Okay, good. Let's join the tables. Let's concatenate all the uh, fields that are in you know, one to many uh, uh, link to every given bug. Every given bug might have multiple nodes, right? And uh, every uh, single bug might have different so pure text table and was, don't ask what's that. I don't remember what, what, what's text table in Monty's terms. I only remember what is bug note table. And well, yeah, we uh, query all the bugs, so we uh, join all the join tables, concatenate all the fields. This is the full text fields we want indexed, basically. If you want to add additional filters on, I don't know, uh, author ID, assign the user ID, and so on, we should do it right here. We should do something at uh, B, where B is bug tape. B, I don't know, assign user ID here, and we should also add a SQL attribute, because it's an attribute here, assign user ID. <coughs> so, this is how you would approach extending it. Anyway, I won't write that at home for now because we don't want to break down example. Oh, uh, yeah, I do have to fix this, however. It was installed, in, was installed there, it should be installed here. My root remember. Okay, good. I'll remove the references to myself and then it's going to fly. 
So, yep, that's simple. Just how much one feels like 57. Let's fly. Fly. Keep. We run the index and it does not do anything. It wants us to specify the specific index. Okay, let's do that. We specify an index. It pulls the data. 45 megs of the data. Not very much. Well, I mean, 45 megs of the data after uh, the, uh, the buff table only had 15 megs, right? But there were also some join data, so that's actually 45 in terms of sorted hits and then and then crashed. Uh, just kidding. Okay, good. So 2 megabytes per second and that takes, well, not the, the very fast slap of RAM. 20 seconds to any that stuff, and chances are that the second one is going to be better. Or maybe it isn't. Uh, this particular machine, by the way, should be bound by the disk. The disk on this machine is hell slow. The writes are like 5 megabytes per second, something. The writes are quick, the writes are hell slow, yeah. Okay, yeah, so the second one was a bit better. The 10 seconds to it is 45 minutes. And. Well, we can use the testing tool now. And, okay, it seems it works a bit better. 0, 0, 36 seconds to query for test. Returns uh, 10,000 matches, though, compared to 15,000 matches uh, that are returned by a simple light query, which is really explainable, right? Because the light query does, on, uh, does not only capture Test. It's all. It's also capturing tests, testing, test, all the different, uh, all, all the different word words, all the different about, all the different substrings, if you will, of test. And uh, the simple configuration file we just used, well, it only captures the full keywords. Okay, so ten thousand documents in seven milliseconds now. Good enough. Well, especially compared to the two seconds that the, <laughs> uh, the original version was swapping. Especially compared to the uh, two seconds that the original version takes. And, and I have a Sphinx page for Mendes, where I record it also. So basically, constant to use Sphinx and something that queries Sphinx and say seven lines of code, that is it. Let's try to apply. I'm not sure if I even have the rights. Oh yeah, I have. Zero to Sphinx. No sense already. I can't find the file to patch. Oh, it was four. Should I should move the page a little up. This is it. And let's well, let's wipe away all the page. Oops, it crashed. Good. So you can now see this isn't a pre-recorded flash video. This is all live. All the crashes and faults are live. Okay, good. It wants an API. Let's give it an API. What is going to happen? Still no bus. What the hell? Still two seconds. But what did what what did just happen? Well, I suppose. Yeah, right. I suppose I implemented a full blown option to enable and disable things on the fly and got it in a ton. How's now? Nothing. <laughs> what the hell? Well, perhaps because we do not really have a search demon running at this point. Or do we? No, we don't. Well, let's run the demon. It's not going to fly either. It's PHP, it's But it's clearly, but it's still clearly related to surgery, right? Okay, what's wrong this time? I think it's all about the ports this time. 
the default word is now this and uh, we've changed the value and 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 you might also put baby I mean, at least new and shiny enough to carry a official four ID. Okay. Oops. Uh, anyone remember? PHP. Yeah, right, but where is the configuration file? Okay, I guess it should be slash PC slash PHP or something. Uh, flash. I'm not sure if this is going to flash. <laughs> no, it isn't. You probably need to restart the flash. Uh, I'm yeah. not even sure if this CLA or CLA. Okay, this, this must apply. Right, looks good. Except that we do not have the limit. We do not even have the limit here. Okay, I wonder if. I actually wonder if uh, this hack is going to work. This is the right. Three seconds instead of two something seconds, and of these most of the time is actually happening on PHP side. These zero to three seconds are actually the time is actually for the most part of the, the time that it takes PHP kill. The rest of make is PHP kill to well go to the database, pull the issues. I I think as as far as I remember, it's doing something crazy like. It's pulling all the 10,000 issues here to the uh, PHP Go uh, side, then picking up just 50 of those issues to display, then displaying. So that explains 0 to 3 seconds. And uh, if we check out the log file, we can see the query times there. So it's, it's a bit less than 0, 3. It's 0, 0, 3 action. So, at the moment, at least we do have an online, finally. Time for a pause, I believe.